Hello, everybody. I apologize for the uh, away time here from YouTube postings, but I've been a little busy on a few things, and today we're going to do a really quick and easy replacement on the D2S8. I'm going to install a new MMI controller here, or NAV controller. I guess it's not MMI at this point, but it's actually uh, pretty straightforward. So if yours is all nasty and sticky maybe a coffee or two have been spilled in there over the years uh, you can at least follow these instructions on how to get it out of there and perhaps clean it and revive it or you can do like i did i actually got a brand new one from audi tradition in germany and this is going to go in my car today okay so the current controller in here is sticky it does not work it's clearly had something spilled in it so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna take that out. But first, I need to get this cup holder out of here. And that's actually really easy. You can just grab the back of this. This piece comes out. And then grab the front. And it comes out. That you, you know, some of you might not have known that. But they are very easy to take out and clean. And we will have to do that as soon as uh, we get this out. So the next step is to get this piece out. And you can see I just pulled it back towards me. I took the little knob off with it, but that just goes on and it'll kind of rock out this way. And there's an electrical connector right here that you're going to have to unhook. And I'm going to need two hands for that. So I'm going to cut the camera briefly in order to pull that out of there. But it is super easy to get these out. So if you've got coffee or something in yours, you can take it out and clean it up. And we're going to try to do that to this one here uh, once we do replace it. But I'm going to cut for a minute and unplug that connector and I'll rejoin you. Okay, so we've got that disconnected. You can see the connector right there. There's a little tab right there that sits on this side of the module that you can just push to release and then it comes right out. So I'm going to do another quick take here and clean this up a little bit. And we're going to put the new one back in. Okay, so it just slides back in and kind of clicks into place. Uh, just make sure you don't uh, get the wiring harness underneath, pinched underneath it or anything. Uh, and it should sit nice and flush. You can put your cup holder pieces back in. The rearmost section just fits in with a couple of little posts. And you are basically done. It's uh, Like I said, this is a really easy thing to uh, at least remove and repair. And it's quite interesting because this one, as I turn it, it clicks. It's got some clicking motion. My old one is nice and smooth. So I don't know if that's a, a running change from an old part to a new part, or if that's part of the issue with my old one. So I think the uh, next thing, I'm going to take a closer look at this one. And there you can see the uh, part number on there. But I'm going to hit it with a little electrical contact cleaner and see if any gunk comes out of this. So Let's do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna take the old one, I'm gonna clean it up with this electronic cleaner, and I'm just gonna see if anything comes out of this. Uh, this is, you can see there's some crud in there. Eh, a little bit, but, I'm not sure that's gonna actually fix it, so hence the new one. But if you have one of these, you can see that dries reasonably well. I just wanna see if it messes with the uh, coating on here. I'll be the guinea pig for the community here. <laughs> um, it seems all right. But yeah, there is some stuff coming out of the side here, if you can see that. So I'm gonna continue to give this a little bit of uh, a cleanup when I need my you know two hands for this so i'm going to pull the knob off or get in there and we're going to clean this out really good and uh, hopefully that revives this and i've got a spare so i think i know why this isn't working as it turns out the reason there's no clicking on this is because the knob is just spinning on that shaft and the reason for that is it's all sticky and gummy in there and i can actually hard to do on camera but there you can hear I turned it 
So what I've been doing is I spray a little of that contact cleaner in here, and then I'm just gently grip, you know, gripping this with a needle nose, and I can actuate it back and forth. And at first I could barely turn this, and I'm getting it to the point where it's starting to turn, and I think there may be some hope for this yet. And the goal is to, you know, get it to the point where it can turn with the knob. And I might have to put like a little dab of something in there because this fits fairly loose at this point. But uh, it's definitely too, still too stiff. So I'm going to keep working at this and I think I can probably get it revived. But there was a lot of crud that came out of there. Um, this contact cleaner, which if there's a possibility, I'll put a link in here. Um, just that seems to do pretty well at cleaning this out. I've used it in a bunch of other electrical connectors while working on this S8. And the bonus is it has not done anything to harm the finish on this. So I'm actually going to finish up with a little bit of uh, either Pearl or VRP uh, protectant on this when I'm all done. But I'm going to keep working on this and I think I'll have a decent backup just in case. But I've got the new one in the car. It's working perfectly, which is great. So I think one small problem solved. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got it pretty much as clean and functional as it's going to get. It uh, does turn. It's still pretty stiff, but I use a little friction modifier here, and it's actually just a little section of a latex rubber glove that I have here in the garage. But I think it's going to do the trick. So I can put that on there, and it'll give me just enough grip around that uh, due to the wear on this that it will function again. So I'll have a decent backup. Okay, and it does in fact work now. So you can see the clicks. Little section of glove in there did just the trick. Uh, I know I could have glued that more than likely, but this is nice and clean and it allows me to actually remove that knob if I ever want to in the future. So figure something that just gives me enough to make it work is good. So thanks for watching.